Hey everybody, welcome back. Mike here in today's short video. I'm gonna show you two of the main features that I was missing in Gmail for a very long time as a longtime user of Outlook. So the first feature is how to schedule your emails. You can actually schedule within Gmail and say, hey, I wanna send this email out at 9 a.m. tomorrow. That's a really awesome feature. Another one is that we can actually undo sending an email. So that's the second feature. So I'm gonna show you both of those. Now for all of these, you are going to want to log into the web-based email. So you'll want to go to gmail.com or mail.google.com and sign into your Gmail that way first. All right, so let's jump right into it. The first thing, let's talk about scheduling those emails. To do that, we'll compose a new email and we'll say it's to, uh, let's do test at gmail.com. And for subject, we'll say uh, this is just a test and we will send this email later. Okay. Now from there, what we need to do to schedule it, it's really simple. Next to the send button, there's this little arrow. If we click this, it says schedule send. If we click that, it gives us a few options. It'll say, do you wanna send it tomorrow morning? Do you wanna send it this afternoon or Monday morning, for example? Or we can say, if none of those times are good, we can go ahead and say pick date and time, and we can actually pick a specific date and time to send this individual email. So that's really cool. That's something that I always used in Outlook for certain things. Maybe I wanted to not seem too, uh, what's the word, too anxious. So I worked with customers in a sales capacity and I didn't want to just send an email two minutes after I talked to them. So I wanted to kind of send it a few hours later and that way I also had time to think about it. In the meantime, if something changed, I could go back and stop that email, that sort of thing. So that's cool. Let me cancel out of that. Now, the other feature that I mentioned was how do we unsend an email in Gmail? And this is probably one of the coolest features in my opinion. This is, well, maybe not coolest, one of the most helpful within Gmail. So all we have to do is just like we normally would, we have our email here and we'll go ahead and hit send. Now, as soon as I hit send, we're going to see a pop-up on the bottom left of my screen where it will say, let's hit send, message sent, undo or view message. If I click undo, it pops the email back up and makes it a draft. So it did not send, I was able to stop it. Now here's the problem with this by default. Gmail sets a timer for this cancellation to five seconds. So you have five seconds to think about it and click it really quickly. To me, that's not enough time. Thankfully, we can tune this within Gmail, you can change that. So what we can do to change it is we can go to the gear in the top right. Let's close this out of there. Go to the gear in the top right of the screen, click see all settings. From there, we're going to go to undo send and we're just going to change send cancellation period from five seconds, we can change it to 30 seconds. So we have a little more time to think about it before we make a really big career ending mistake with that one email that we did not want to send after we thought about it for a whole 30 seconds. So once we've changed that, you go to the very bottom, you wanna make sure that you hit save changes and now when we go ahead and compose a new email, I'll just say again, I'll type this up really quickly. We'll go ahead and hit send on that. Now we should have this pop-up stay here for a little longer. Right now it should be 30 seconds. Previously it was five seconds. So this would have gone away by now. All right, so that's all I really got for you guys today. Pretty short and sweet. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure you hit the subscribe button before you leave so you get notified of any of the, my new content. I've got lots of it coming, not just for Google, but also the Office Suite, some other things as well. Basically, any software you use to do your job, I'm probably going to have a video about how to use it better than you were before, which it's really all designed to make your job easier. So that said, stay safe and healthy. Until next time, Nerdy Tech out.